guys, so I'm here with another video and I have Pixie and Roxy joining me in this one and today I am going to show you what we keep in our dog storage drawers. Now there's four drawers, we got this from B&M and we keep most of the dog supplies in this drawer however we do have a drawer in the bedroom where we keep extra products and it is full. So I'm going to save that for another video because we do have quite a lot in here at the moment and it's probably enough for one video anyway and then I'm going to talk about what's going on up there in another video. So the drawers we got from B&M, I think they were about £15, they're quite good, they're sturdy enough, they're made of wood and they do the job so it works well for us. Okay, so as you can see, Pixie is ready to show us what is in her treat drawer and supply drawer. And we're going to start at the top and work our way down. So in the top drawer, as you can see, it's more or less full. And some of these cheats we've been getting from the subscription boxes. Some of these cheats, when we travel a distance, we pick up a good amount to do us and last us because it's not a place where we go to often. And the Billy and Marco products are really, really good and we do have to travel a wee bit in the car to go and get them. So when we do that, we pick up quite a few. So the first thing is the Billy and Marco strawberry and apple training biscuits and they're quite small and they're good for just going out to the park and having a wee nibble. The second thing is a bigger version, as you can see, they're quite big and I'm pretty sure I've done a review of these on the website, um, www.ashitsulife.com, I'll put the link down below and you can have a read. Very, very good, very healthy, all natural. I use these as bedtime biscuits, I put this in their jar for their bedtime and they get one when they go into bed at night and we go through them quite quick obviously because they are bigger biscuits and we have two dogs so they tend to last us just over a week. So we've just finished off the, app, the banana and the honey so we're now going to move on to the apple, banana and carrot and I've got another two bags of each in the extra cupboard that we've got for them. So we are very good as well. There's so much in here. Next thing we've got is the herbal tea treats. Again, they're the same kind of size as the Billy and Margot ones. They are nom dogs. Tasty tea infused dog treats. And we got this in with a pet subscription box. They do like them and we're almost finished them. So once they're finished, that's fine. I'm not going to get another box. It's not a treat that I would think, right, okay, I need to get another box of them. So. Once they are finished, they will be finished. The next thing I have is the organic beef supper, Lily's Kitchen. Lily's Kitchen is very good and we get a lot of their stuff because it's all healthy, natural and it's organic. So it's better for them. So I've got three of these that we're working our way through. It's wet meat, something that they don't get a lot of. So that will probably last them a long time. I usually maybe give them half of a tub each and then I give them half of biscuits along with it and that would be their dinner. So I've got three of them. Next thing is the pup cake which we got from a shop in Shroon, Butch Pantry. It only seems to be the place I can find them so when I went there we picked up a couple. So the dogs love them. So. Pixie's birthday is coming up in October, so I'm hoping that it can last by then. Nope, it doesn't, so I will need to get another. I'll need to use that and get another one, but not to worry. The next thing we have is the sample packs that we got from uh, Lily's Kitchen. I sent an email in to request some samples for their food because their food is expensive. Some of them are organic, some of them are grain free and I didn't want to go and spend £8-£9 on a 1kg bag for the dogs not to like it. So they gave us some sample packs, so this is a lovely lamb with peas and parsley and I'm using this just now for Roxy while we have her on the grooming table, uh, learning to lie down and sit at peace. 
she loves them so we're using that for for her. The next thing is what we get in the um, Paw Post subscription box. We either get one of these or we get a tin full of them which are really good and it's just 100% Ox Lover. So they love them and once the tin's finished we're going to refill it and we'll probably all get more than one tin because they rotate it every month so I think I'll be getting a tin next month. So I'm going to have quite a few tins but that's okay because my mum's got a shih tzu and I'm going to give her the next tin that we've got. She might not take the ox liver out of it but um, she can at least have the tin. And there's just a little pack in there that we've already used. So we'll use them up first after the tin. The next thing I have is these rawhide chew things that we got from Pets at Home and they just attach to this bone here they attach onto the rings and the dog chews them off and this is also a chew as well as you can see it has been chewed by the lovely Roxy yes mm -hmm, there's no chews on it though you need to wait and have your dinner first mm -hmm. usually I get them to eat their meals first before they get any really nice treats so I don't want to spoil their dinner, so that's that. That's that's a very good product and the chews, I'm not one for giving them raw hide, um, but it's small enough that it's not a lot and they do chew wee bits of them. I'm quite reluctant to give them like the twizzly sticks that you get with the raw hide, just because Pixie's previously choked on them before, but these are quite good. So do refills as well so I'll think about maybe getting some refills. Okay the next thing I have is the Dog Treat Company which we got from the Paw Post subscription box as well last month, the Fabulous Fur and the Take My Dog Breath Away. And these are really really good treats, very healthy, all natural, um, very good. We already have a bag open just now, so we're working our way through that as well. We've got so many open bags and so many treats. My dogs, I must admit, are spoiled rotten, but they only live once, so why not? So we just get enough supplies to do as a while. And then... Okay guys, so I've just noticed that putting all the videos together for the whole four drawers have came up to about 40 minutes. So I'm thinking that's too long for one video and you might get bored maybe 10-15 minutes into it. So I'm going to split it into four videos, so it's going to be four parts. So this one is the first part. The next part will be what's in the second drawer and I'll upload that video the next day and so on with the other two videos. So I just didn't want to have a very long video for the dog storage. I know there is a lot and it would have been a, a rather long video and I didn't want to bore you. So we will be back with the second drawer of Pixie and Roxy's storage tomorrow. See you guys later. Bye!